Now, how do you describe motion? To describe motion, there are two things that are considered. One is the distance and second is the displacement. Let's consider a straight road which has three building A, B and C. Our dear old car is moving on this direction and it moves from the point called the origin. Let's assume that the distance from the origin to A is 10 kilometers, A to B is 20 kilometers and B to C is 30 kilometers. This is not marked to scale which means that you might feel that this distance is not double of this but just ignore that for the time being. Now how does distance and displacement fare? This car is moving. Okay, I want to ask you what is the distance traveled? Let's say this car moved from here and kept on moving, kept on moving till it reached the point T. So if I were to ask you what's the distance traveled between origin and B, what you see is how much is the length of the area which is covered. So which is nothing but 10 plus 20 kilometers. Okay. Now suppose this car went further, touched the point C and then moved backward in this direction and it came back and reached point A. Okay. Now in this case if I were to ask you between OA what is the distance? How much will be the distance? The distance covered will be OA plus from A to B plus from B to C. Now as it came back it covered another 30 kilometers then it covered another 20 kilometers. So in all it covered 100 and 10 kilometers. So if I were to ask you what's the distance covered, the distance is basically the total travel. The total travel made by the car is known as the distance. Now how about dips, displacement? Let's consider OB which was this area. Displacement basically is the shortest distance from initial point also known as the origin to the ultimate point. Now if you apply this definition as the car moved from O to B 0 A B the displacement was what again 30 kilometers which is the same as this one. But if you see in second case when the car went from O to C and then came back till A, the displacement is what? The shortest distance from the initial point to the ultimate point. Initial point was what? It was your origin. Ultimate point is what? A. What is the distance between the two of them? 10 kilometers. So the displacement in this case is only 10 kilometers even though the car has traveled 110 kilometers. So to describe motion we use these two things wherein we say look the car was in motion for this long it covered a distance of this however in going and coming back the total displacement of the car at any point in time 
was based on where it started from and where it ended. So if the car instead of stopping at A would have come back and stationed again at the origin, then the displacement would have been 0, even though the distance would have been from O to C and back from C to O, which is 120 kilometers. So we say that the car was in motion, the total distance covered was 120 kilometers. However, the displacement of the car from its original position was 0.